Have you ever wondered what makes cannabis such an intriguing plant? Today we dive into the world of phytocannabinoids. These intriguing compounds are derived from the cannabis plant, hence the prefix phyto, which denotes their plant origin. But what makes them truly fascinating is their interaction with the bodies of animals. Through a complex dance with receptors in our bodies, cannabinoids can produce a medley of neurological effects, painting a vivid picture of nature's profound influence on our physiology. This dance is not just a show of nature's prowess, but a testament to the potential of these plant-derived compounds. And as we delve deeper into this world of phytocannabinoids, we'll uncover the intricate processes that yield these compounds, explore the looming threat of antimicrobial resistance, and discover the potential of phytocannabinoids in combating this global health crisis. As we delve deeper, we'll discover the potential of these plant-derived compounds and their implications in modern medicine. The journey from a cannabis plant to a potential game-changer in medicine is fascinating. Let's take a closer look at this process, which starts with the extraction of cannabidiol from the cannabis plant. This compound belongs to a class known as phytocannabinoids, whose prefix, phyto, signifies their plant origin. Extraction is a precise process, conducted in controlled environments to ensure the purity of the cannabidiol. Once extracted, the cannabidiol is ready for the next stage, a reaction with hydrogen. Now you might be wondering why hydrogen? Well, hydrogen has the ability to alter the structure of compounds, making it a key player in the formation of new molecules. But hydrogen doesn't act alone. It needs a catalyst to facilitate the reaction. And in our case, the catalyst is palladium. Palladium is a shiny silver-white metal known for its exceptional ability to speed up chemical reactions without getting consumed in the process. It's like the matchmaker in this molecular romance bringing cannabidiol and hydrogen together to create something new. And what's that e something new? It's a mixture of molecules, each with the same composition and order of atoms, but with different structures. It's as if we've taken the same ingredients and baked different types of bread. Among this variety, one molecule stands out, tetrahydrocannabidiol, or THCBD for short. THCBD is a unique phytocannabinoid that scientists at the CSIR Indian Institute of Integrative Medicine in Jammu have discovered. It's not just its structure that's unique, but also its potential. Preliminary studies suggest that THCBD may possess antibiotic properties, a finding that could have significant implications for medicine, especially in the face of rising antimicrobial resistance. So we've gone from a cannabis plant through a series of chemical reactions to a new molecule with potential medical benefits. It's a journey that showcases the power of chemistry and the promise of phytocannabinoids. And it's a journey that's far from over. This discovery of THCBD's unique structure opens up new avenues for research and application. While we marvel at the potential of phytocannabinoids, let's not forget the looming threat of antimicrobial resistance. Antimicrobial resistance, or AMR, is a growing concern in the world of medicine and public health. It's a phenomenon where microorganisms like bacteria, viruses, and parasites evolve to resist the drugs designed to kill them. This means that the more we use these drugs, the less effective they become. And if you're thinking this sounds like a plot out of a science fiction movie, you're not far off, but unlike in the movies, we can't just hit the reset button when things go wrong. AMR is a real and present danger. It's been estimated that bacterial AMR was directly responsible for over 1 million global deaths in just a single year. That's not even counting the almost 5 million deaths it contributed to indirectly. These numbers are staggering, and they're expected to rise if we don't address the problem. But what's driving this resistance? The main culprits are misuse and overuse of antimicrobials. This happens in humans, animals, and even plants. For example, when we take antibiotics unnecessarily or don't complete a prescribed course, we're giving bacteria a chance to adapt and survive. In the same way, when farmers use antibiotics to promote growth in healthy animals, they're creating a breeding ground for resistant bacteria. AMR doesn't discriminate. It affects all countries regardless of income levels. However, its impact is felt most in low- and middle-income countries where poverty and inequality exacerbate the problem. It's a threat that puts the very gains of modern medicine at risk, making infections harder to treat and medical procedures such as surgeries and chemotherapy much riskier. 
So as we stand on the brink of this global health crisis, it's clear that we need to act. We need to use antimicrobials responsibly, invest in research for new drugs, and explore alternatives like phytocannabinoids. The fight against AMR is a global concern, and every potential solution brings us one step closer to a healthier future. In our quest to tackle antimicrobial resistance, could the answer lie in the humble cannabis plant? Scientists at CSIR Indian Institute of Integrative Medicine have stumbled upon a possibility that seems to be pointing in that direction. They've discovered that tetrahydrocannabidiol, or THCBD, a phytocannabinoid found in the cannabis plant, possesses antibiotic properties. Yes, you heard it right, antibiotic properties. Phytocannabinoids are fascinating compounds. Derived from plants, they interact with receptors in our bodies, producing a variety of neurological effects. These scientists were able to extract cannabidiol from cannabis and then, using palladium as a catalyst, they made it react with hydrogen. The result? A mixture of molecules that were identical in composition and atomic order but distinct in structure. One of these was our protagonist, THCBD. Now, let's talk about antimicrobial resistance. It's a global threat, causing an estimated 1.27 million deaths directly in 2019 and contributing to nearly 5 million more. The misuse and overuse of antimicrobials in humans, animals, and plants are the main drivers of this resistance, making infections harder to treat and medical procedures riskier. So where does THCBD come into the picture? Well, the antibiotic properties of this phytocannabinoid could be a game changer in our fight against antimicrobial resistance. Yes, it's still early days, and more research is needed to fully understand and harness these properties. But the potential is there, and it's huge. Imagine a world where we could use a plant-derived compound to combat the growing menace of antimicrobial resistance. It's a tantalizing prospect, isn't it? So, as we continue to delve deeper into the world of phytocannabinoids, we are indeed reminded of the untapped treasures hidden within nature, just waiting to be discovered. It's a testament to the remarkable complexity and potential of the natural world around us. As we continue to explore the potential of phytocannabinoids, we are reminded of the untapped treasures hidden in nature, waiting to be discovered. And remember, the more we learn about these fascinating compounds, the closer we get to harnessing their full potential. So keep questioning, keep learning, and stay curious.